Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we're going to be talking about uh, integration by substitution and we're going to be talking about a specific case in which you have, you want to integrate a function which is of this sort that is fx into g dash x dot dx. Now what do you mean by that? I mean to say that whenever you want to find the integration of a function uh, which has two uh, of two functions, product of two functions, in or division of two functions in which one of the function is the der is the derivative of the other function let's say i want to find out the integration of this function here that is uh you know 2x and square root of 1 plus x square now in this 2x is equal to uh, some function and 1 plus x square is another function now as you can clearly see that if i find the derivative of this function what is going to be equal to d over dx of 1 plus x square. So d over dx of 1 plus x square is going to be equal to 2x, which means this is going to be equal to this. That means this is a function of this sort. There is a function and then there is a derivative of that function. Then how do you solve these functions? How do you perform the steps? Now I'm going to show you the steps here. Step 1 is opportunity. What is the opportunity? Opportunity is whenever you find a function of this sort that is f of x and g dash of x. Whenever you find a function, uh, an integration of this sort, then you can actually go ahead and do integration by substitution. Now what you have to do is you have to pick up a variable. Let's say I pick up, vari I pick up a variable u. And you have to equate that variable equal to f of x. Now here what will I do is I will actually denote u to be equal to 1 plus x square. Then what you have to do is step 3 is to find du over dx which should be equal to g dash x. Right? So if I find du over dx this is going to be equal to 2x and which is actually equal to a g dash x. Now what you are going to do is you will eliminate eliminate x from the integration. So this was equal to integration of 2x into square root of 1 plus x square dot dx. So what are you going to do now is you're going to eliminate 2x to be equal to du over dx. So 2x is going to be equal to du over dx and uh, 1 plus x square is going to be u. So 1 plus x square is going to be u and then we are going to have the dx here. So what we can do is we can eliminate dx and dx. This is something that you have to do every time. You have to eliminate dx and you have to eliminate x. Now what you'll do is you'll perform integration or anti-differentiation. Perform anti-differentiation on u. So if you perform an anti-differentiation on u, square root of u, that is u raised to the power 1 by 2 dot du, you will actually get u raised to the power 1 plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus c. So this is going to be the integration which is going to be equal to u raised to the power 1.5 divided by 1.5 plus c. Now what you're going to do is you're going to substitute x substitute x uh, in terms of uh, you know let me just throw the spelling substitute. What you're going to do now is you're going to substitute x in terms of u. Now what you're going to do is u is nothing but 1 plus x square. So what are you going to write is you're going to write 1 plus x square raised to the power 1.5 divided by 1.5 plus c. That means this integration here is actually equal to this. So these are the steps here. I hope you're able to understand the steps that I've written. Step 1 is opportunity whenever you find a kind of uh, a function, a, an integration function of this sort. Then what you can do is you can actually take u to be equal to fx find d over dx which should be equal to g dash x and uh, then eliminate dx anti differentiate or integrate u and then substitute x and then you will have your answer now let's go ahead and try this on some questions now over here as you can see uh, again we have a function i'm going to take u to be equal to 2x square plus 1 that means du over dx is actually going to be equal to 4 times x so my f of x is actually equal to 2x squared plus 1 and my g dash of x is actually equal to 4x. As you can clearly see, everything is working out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace uh, these values. 
So if I just write down the whole thing, so what is going to be the value of 4x? 4x is nothing but du over dx times dx into 1 over square root of 2x square plus 1. So what is 2x square plus 1? That is u. So as you can see, u and u will, dx and dx will get eliminated. And I will have u raised to the power minus 1 by 2 dot du. As you know, this is u raised to the power 1 by 2. And when it goes up, this would be u raised to the power minus 1 by 2. So if I integrate this, this is going to be 1 minus 1 by 2 over 1 minus 1 by 2 uh, plus c. So this is going to be equal to u raised to the power 1 by 2 divided by uh, 1 by 2. So 2 is going to come here plus c. So this is going to be equal to 2 times. So instead of u, I'm going to replace u by 2x squared plus 1. I'm going to have 2x squared plus 1 raised to the power 1 by 2 plus c. Simple, right? So what you got to do is, is just, you know, I have to, you have to identify that the question uh, has this uh, function over here. It is of that sort. That is, there is an fx and there is a g dash x. When you integrate fx, you actually get g dash x. That is what you have to identify. And then you can solve the integrations uh, with substitution. Now let's go ahead and see this question here. Now it's, it's kind of a tricky thing to identify uh, the value of u here but as you can see that uh, if I take u to be equal to square root of x that is x to the power 1 by 2 and if I find du over dx that is actually going to be equal to u raised to the power uh, you know u raised sorry x raised to the power uh, if I find du over dx that is going to be x raised to the power of 1 by 2 minus 1 right and I'm gonna have the 1 by 2 outside like this so this is going to be equal to du over dx into 1 by 2 into uh, 1 over square root x. So this thing will actually become x raised to the power minus 1 by 2, which is going to be equal to 1 over square root 2x. Now this 2 is something which is missing here. So what I can do is, actually I can introduce this 2 here. So what I can do is, I can divide this by 2 and multiply this function by 2. So what I can do is I can multiply this function by 2 and divide this function by 2 in order to get this whole thing so that I can replace du by dx and can eliminate dx. So this function is going to be equal to 2 times as you know 1 over 2 square root x 1 over 2 square root x is actually going to be equal to du over dx into sine of as you know square root x is nothing but u dot dx. So dx and dx will get eliminated and I will have 2 into integration of sine u dot du. As you know, the integration of sine u is actually negative cosine u uh, plus c. And if I, if I put the value of u in here, this would be equal to negative 2 into cosine of square root x plus c. So this is going to be the integration of this function. So suppose you're able to understand what I'm trying to say here, guys. Let's move forward to the next one. So we have this function over here uh, that is uh, e raised to the power sine x into cosine x dot dx. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take u to be equal to sine x. So I'm going to take u to be equal to sine x. Then du over dx is actually going to be equal to so what is the uh, derivation of sine x that is equal to the that is equal to cosine x so i can easily replace this function here so i can say uh, integration of e raised to the power sine x into cosine x dot dx is actually equal to integration of e raised to the power u as you know sine x is u uh, into cosine x which is du over dx into dx so dx and dx will get cal cancelled out and integration of e raised to the power u dot du is actually equal to e raised to the power u plus c, which is going to be equal to e raised to the power sine x plus c. Pretty easy, right? So that's what the answer is. So you just got to know how to find this u. So 
sometimes you might not be able to do it so you have to do a little bit of hit and try just understand that if you take u to be equal to f of x then du over dx should be equal to g dash of x that is the only thing that you have to make sure and you have to make sure that you are able to eliminate x completely that is something that you have to do let's try another question so in this what i can say is u will be equal to i can take u to be equal to uh, 1 minus x cube then du over dx is actually going to be equal to negative 3x square so what i can do here is i want negative 3x square so i have 5 out and i have x square into square root of minus 1 minus x cube dot dx so what i can do is i can multiply negative here 3 here and I can divide negative 3 here. So this is going to be equal to negative 5 over 3 to negative 3x square that is du over dx into square root of u as you can see this is u dot dx dx and dx will get cancelled out. I'll have negative 5 over 3 into square root u dot du. So this is going to be equal to negative 5 into u raised to the power of 1 plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 which is 3 by 2 plus c so this is going to be equal to a negative 10 over 9 into u raised to the power 3 by 2 plus c which is going to be equal to negative 10 over 9 that is going to be 1 plus x cube i'm sorry 1 minus x cube raised to the power 3 by 2 plus c so this is going to be the answer that means the integration of this is this. So it becomes very, very easy, you know, to integrate once you identify that this is what I have to do. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I will recommend you to go ahead and practice on this. Practice is something that will make you perfect. Solve at least 40 to 50 questions and, uh, you know, just get the hang of it. And I know this, you'll, you'll really enjoy this if you're a math lover. So this would be our website explore more about us on this website and uh, this would be our facebook page to give us your valuable like and this would be our email address to give us your valuable feedback so thank you very much for watching this video guys i'll see you in the next one